Ah, oh, how annoying. I've already composed eight symphonies, but there seems to be something missing. My work is still incomplete. Fog? At this time of day? I've never seen such a thick fog. Uh, where on earth am I? You're on a train to Brussels. You were lying here when we came in. Are you all right? I'm Marie-Louise, and this is Matusi. Nice costume. We're interns at the European Commission in Brussels. Oh, Brussels? Trains? Europe's at war. You can't just go to Brussels like that. Why is the scenery outside moving so fast? What year is this? And what on earth is the EU? It's 2013. There hasn't been a war in Europe for a long time. EU is the European Union. It's a family of 28 member states. 2013? How can there be no wars? In my time, wars were constantly being fought between countries. Yes, in the last century there were two devastating wars. Around 70 million lives were lost and the whole continent left in ruins. After that, European leaders decided that war in Europe can never happen again. They embarked on the European Integration Project. That project became today's EU. Napoleon vowed to unify Europe by force. Was the EU brought about by force? No. European integration came through dialogue, negotiations and consensus. It was gradual, step by step. Interesting. This means the dream of Pax Europea has been realised. How big is this EU? The EU has 28 member states. It has member states in the west such as Spain and Portugal and in the north including Sweden and Finland. In the east next to the Baltic Sea are Lithuania, Estonia and Latvia. By the Mediterranean Sea, Greece and Cyprus and nearly all the countries in between. Around 500 million citizens can travel, work or live freely inside the EU. The train we are on now travels from Germany to Belgium without passing any border controls or checkpoints. Amazing! I could never have imagined that Europe would turn out like this. But this is a huge project. Who are which countries leading it? The EU is not led by a particular state. Many people from different member states come together to help run the EU. Brussels is the administrative centre of the EU and we are going to be interns there. Let's give you a tour and tell you how the EU works. Welcome to Brussels. Right in front of us is the Council of the European Union. To our right, not too far away, there is a semi-dome-shaped building. That's the European Parliament. And behind us is where we'll be working, the European Commission. The names of these institutions sound very similar. What do they do? The European Parliament has more than 750 members elected by EU citizens. Its role is to represent the people. The European Council has representatives from each of the 28 member states. So the Council represents the member states. The Parliament and the Council jointly approve proposals from the European Commission. The European Commission implements EU policies and proposes EU laws and budgets. There are 28 commissioners, one from each member state. Once they become European Commissioners, they have to consider the interest of the EU as a whole not just their member state's interest. I see. How long has the EU been established and during this time what good did it bring to Europe? The integration project began over 60 years ago. During this time more member states joined and the process was constantly evolving. The organization grew and strengthened. The greatest benefit of the EU is that war between member states is now unthinkable. It has also brought security and convenience to its citizens. For example, 17 member states now use a single currency called the Euro. People no longer need to change currency when they do business or travel in those countries. This is convenient, but there are so many European countries, each one so different from the other, with all their different languages, cultures and religions. How is it possible for everyone to work together and accomplish so many things? The member states are different from each other, but we share common values. These include the principle of democracy, human rights and the rule of law. These values and the pursuit of common interests allow us to cooperate while keeping our differences. The EU's motto is United in Diversity, which sums up the spirit of the EU very well. This really is very moving. Who would have thought that a war-torn Europe could accomplish so much together? This is exactly the world I dreamed of! Oh. <coughs> Mister, are you okay? <coughs> Ah, 
Air bite oven, it's great to finally see you awake. You were lying unconscious in a countryside path and I brought you back. I'm back in my own time. Was it a dream? Even if it was, what an inspiring dream it was. The world I dreamt of can exist. I must compose a symphony that is equally inspiring and let everyone see the possibility of that world. Hmm, but what should the main theme of the symphony be? Mm-hmm. <laughs>